How you doing? West Coast Johnny in the shop. Today we're working on our 1978 Scamp fiberglass trailer door. So here's the door. It's upside down on some sawhorses. And one of the things we had to do was right inside here, the, in the factory, they put like fiberboard, but the trailer's 42 years old and the fiberboard, it must have started leaking probably 30 years ago because there was literally rotten wood all the way down inside here and I had to pull it all out and it wasn't easy. Then I went ahead and I put some oak, pieces of oak, approximately, oh, about an inch, inch up, over, all the way across. And then we went ahead and put some resin and we filled that real nice and sanded it off. So now we have some nice solid wood in here, which is really what you want when you want to attach your window. You don't want to put rivets into fiberboard. They had rivets into fiberboard, which if you think about it, that really doesn't do anything. But one of the main problems here is if you could feel how wavy this is, it's literally going like up and down like this. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to sand this whole thing down and then we're going to go ahead and smooth it out so we could put our new elephant skin texture spray on it. So what we're using to do our sanding, we have a air sander, pneumatic air sander, a DA, dig dual action, and 36 grit sandpaper. So our goal here is to take all this glue off that used to have the vinyl, there's like a elephant skin vinyl texture that the trailer company put on. So we're gonna redo all that, but we're gonna get the waviness out first. Okay, so what we did after we sanded it really smooth right down to the fiberglass, even though it's still really wavy. I don't know if how you can see, if you can even see that, but it's really wavy. So what we did was we put some melamine, one inch melamine. We heated it up and bent it. We attached it to the side of the door with some screws. And then we went ahead and we got some resin and some cabosil and we went ahead and ran we're trying to get a nice sharp edge here then we're going to take these back off and then we're going to go ahead and just trowel the whole thing smooth with some really nice body filler then we're going to take the air file and we're going to shape it it's going to be perfectly smooth and flat so that's where we're at today in a few minutes we're going to take these off 